Okay, I'm going to be a, a quick rundown anyway, what I did to wire up my lights. Okay, so this is the the plug that go, plugs into the um, light cluster. Um, what I did, when I plugged in the, the, well, the lead coming from here, that runs along underneath, comes up, just focus you in. Okay, and it comes up through here. So I did each one, individual one. It tells you when you buy them the, what wiring code is with. So it'll say like green li uh, green wire, yellow wire, brown wire, red wire, indicator, stop tail and all that. I'm not going to say which one it is because it might differ. So but on my Fiat Decato, the only way I could figure out how to suss if the lights worked were if I went to the front, put the ignition on, I'd put the left, the right hand indicator on and I would get what it said on the diagram, let's say, for instance, the yellow or the green, I can't remember which one it was now, yellow or green wire, and I would put it in one of these holes there until the light came on. And then I'd write that down and mark it. I'm not going to tell you what the colour code is for this because it's different vehicles, different. This is a 2016 Fiat Decato. And then the other thing we found out was that this doesn't have anything to do with um, the right. It, it's all right for the stop and tail light, but not for the left hand indicator. So if we're looking at the back of the vehicle, of course, so it'll be the this side. And I will tell you that on this one, when we took the um, module out that plugs into the cluster, it was the blue and white one. So what I did then, I took a red wire. You can see all these are still loose. I've not tightened them up yet. A red wire, which you can see in there, and it goes all the way over the top, down here, and then plugs in to the wiring loom here. So you have to plug into the wiring loom. So what you do, you find out which wire it is, look at the colour code on the back of the plug, and then correspondingly put one of these blue clips on that wire, and then connect your towing hitch wire to that clip, cramp it, test it. And I'll show you it working now. Just give me a sec. So, conclusion is, yeah, trace these wires back by putting each individual one that you want wired up. I haven't got reversing light. I haven't got, where's the other one? I can't remember what it is now. Uh, not too sure. Uh, anyway, so some of them are not being used. Oh, like a signal light when you've got it plugged in. Focus. There. So you just go through each one, push it in the hole until it lights up. When you like, you need someone to help you with the brakes as well. Put the brake on. So I'll tell you then. I did notice on my LEDs, which I've wired up LEDs, that when you put your side lights on, the LEDs light up with the side lights. And they've only connected one wire. But when you put the brakes on, the brakes work as well. So it's really interesting. But on your on these, which I'm wiring up, you'll have to buy a you'll have to wire up both tail and stop lights. But I'll show you these are the wireless LEDs. I've got a a uh, fixed wire, but I've also got wireless to go on the trailer to go onto the metal. I'll show you them working now. It's actually a cracking bit of kit, actually. 30, about 39 quid it was. There you go. So all you do is take one out, press the button once, put him on there. You haven't got to put it on, you can put it where you want, you can leave him on here if you wanted to. Press the button underneath, that comes on. Like so, so I've got them there, and then what I do then is just plug this wireless, wireless unit into my little didgeridoo down here. I can only go in one way, right sure it goes home. Right, let's give it a quick test. Okay, grab the keys, oh, bear with me, ignition on. We need lights on at the moment. Indicator. I hope this works. I'm going to look plonker. There you go. Now you're thinking that's the left hand indicator. Easily solved. Left hand indicator. It doesn't matter because these are magnetic. So, and you put it that way as well, like that. So, there we go. Let's try the right hand indicator. The things we have to do. Oh. And there you go, that's the right hand indicator. Now you can probably hear it flashing quite quick because I haven't plugged in the light back into the cluster. That's all, it's all got it loose look. So you can do it with the cluster loose when you're wiring these up. All right, 
So let's try, I can do side lights, I can't do the brakes, there's no one here. So let me just do the side lights. And there's your side lights. Okay, brilliant. These work great, they'll be great to do. Easy fix for trailer. You know when you keep getting all the wires and you have to fix the board and do everything else. You can buy a number plate, fix it to the boat or whatever you want, or the trailer. Uh, mine's a boat, it's only a cheapy thing. And then you can just put these on the trailer. They stick to it like glue. And that's it. It works brilliant. See, so these are, I'll put a link in the description down below where I got these from. Okay. These are just called wireless LEDs. These are from Amazon. Comes with instructions. It's not hard, actually. Just switch them on. <laughs> that's it, really. Uh, there was a piece of paper in this somewhere. There you go. Comes with everything. Tells you a piece of paper. And, uh... What to do? Track? Well, I don't know. Doesn't tell you much. It's just easy enough to switch it on. That's all I did and it worked. Is that focused? Anyway, okay. So, let's turn these off. I just thought to myself, I can't show you because there's no one here. Yes, I can. They're wireless. They're on my passenger seat. Look. Ready? Brake lights. Indicator. I should have thought about this before, shouldn't I? Brake lights and indicators. Because I haven't plugged it in, but it still works. There you go. The only difference is, is when you've got your side lights on, and I found this out, and indicator, it seems to flash a little bit. And that's because I've not wired the tail light in properly. On the other LEDs, which are the fixed ones, I think they have a special relay on them. Or someone's going to put me right, or a capacitor, or a voltage regulator, that it knows when the side lights are on and when the stop lights on. But we're going to have another go later on to wire it. But apart from that, these work absolutely fantastic, and they're going to be a great asset to the little beast out there. It's only a little cheapy plastic boat, but it's mine, and that's all that matters. All right. If you enjoyed the video, these are great little assets and uh, easy to fit very easy to operate uh, please give it a thumbs up and a like that would be great and we'll definitely catch you in the next one oh by the way over this way uh, there is the subscribe button and notification bell if you want to see any more up and coming videos that would be great helps the channel a lot take care see you in a bit